And here's another bid for redress on the basis of what seems like a, a grievance against the world. The small Pacific state of Vanuatu is asking the International Court of Justice to rule on countries' responsibility for the so-called climate crisis, including on what should be legal consequences. You know what that'll mean, don't you? Almost inevitably, more pressure for more payments from countries like us to countries like Vanuatu. It's reported that Vanuatu will put a motion up to the UN General Assembly asking the court to pay particular attention to the harm experienced by small island developing countries that are, they claim, especially vulnerable to climate change. Further, as reported in the Guardian, uh, Guardian Australia today, the Albanese government, well, they've now committed to co-sponsoring, along with others, this resolution from Vanuatu. Our Albanese government thinks, the Guardian says, that climate change is, and I quote, the single greatest threat to the livelihoods, security and well-being of the peoples of the Pacific. So, not corruption, not overclearing or overfishing, and certainly not Chinese economic coercion or indeed the threat of war. It's climate change that matters most, says Labor. No doubt this resolution and any court ruling will be used by activists to increase the pressure on the government to ban all future coal and gas developments in Australia, even though they are vital for our export income and tax revenue. At the very least, the government will face charges of hypocrisy, supporting the extreme green demands of rent-seeking islands abroad while ignoring them here at home. This is the inevitable result of indulgent virtue signaling at international bodies.